in the churchyard of St. Andrew's Parish Church. And on behalf of the entire parish family of the historic parish church of St. Andrew, I do now extend the deepest sympathy and sincerest condolences to the members of the family, those who are here present, those who are absent, and those who are absent but still present by a live stream. We know that we are in COVID times and let us, from a distance, place our hearts and our minds right here in the churchyard of St. Andrew's Parish Church. And so once again, I do extend deepest sympathy and sincerest condolences to all of you as we mourn together the loss of our sister, Annette Lorraine Law. Everyone the Father gives to me will come to me. I will never turn away anyone who believes in me. He who is Jesus Christ from the dead will also give new life to our mortal bodies through his indwelling spirit. My heart therefore is glad and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy and uh, in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. I heard a voice from heaven saying, write this, happy are the dead who die in the faith of Christ. Henceforth, says the Spirit, they may rest from their labors, for they take with them the record of their deeds. Man born of a woman has but a short time to live. Like a flower he blossoms and then withers. Like a shadow he flees and he never stays. In the midst of life we are in death. To whom can we turn for help? But to you, Lord, who are justly angered by our sins. Lord God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us from the bitter pains of eternal death. You know the secrets of our hearts. In your mercy, hear our prayer. Forgive us our sins. And at our last hour, let us not fall away from you. In sure and certain hope of resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God our sister Annette Lorraine, and we commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. And we beseech you in your infinite goodness to give us grace to live in your dear love and to die in your favor, that when your well beloved son shall come again in judgment, both this our sister Annette Lorraine and we ourselves may be found acceptable in your sight. Grant this for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Let us pray together the family prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, with whom still live the spirits of those who die in the Lord, and with whom the souls of the faithful are in joy and felicity, we give you heartfelt thanks for the good examples of all your servants, 
who, having finished their course in faith, now find rest and refreshment. May he, with all who have died in the true faith of your holy name, have perfect fulfillment and bliss in your eternal and everlasting glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the life, raise us, we humbly pray, from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that when we depart this life, we may rest in him, and at the resurrection, receive that blessing which your well beloved son shall then pronounce. Come, you blessed of my father, receive the kingdom prepared for you from the beginning of the world. Grant this, O merciful Father, through Jesus Christ, our Mediator and Redeemer. Amen. Grant, O Lord, to all who are believed the spirit of faith and courage, that they may have strength to meet the days to come with steadfastness and patience, not sorrowing as those without hope, but in thankful remembrance of your great goodness, and in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those of your love. And this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rest eternal grant to her, O Lord. May she and all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. The Lord bless her and keep her. The Lord make his face to shine upon her and be gracious to her. The Lord lift up his countenance upon her and gave her peace.
blessed assurance. Thank <laughs> you. 
dwell with my soul.
the strife is o'er, the battle done. opportunity to invite a member of the family to kindly come forward and uh, give expressions of thanks to all those who are viewing and to those who will desire to be here. Again, a pleasant good afternoon, Reverend Dr. Watson. Please. 